Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about this little guy. It's an integrated stepper motor. It's a stepper motor with an integrated driver. Compared to a usual stepper motor, this one has got a driver built in here and it doesn't need an external one. The standard one needs a driver to be operated and to work properly. With this one there is no need for that. And the best part is the fact that this stepper motor got a built-in encoder. So it's a closed loop stepper motor. So in simple words this is a stepper motor with an encoder and with a stepper driver. 3 and one There are typical dip switches available directly on it to set the desired micro step value and working direction inversion. There is the power supply socket and the signal IOs. I would like to use this stepper motor for driving my ATC turret in my CNC life. It is built out of a stepper motor, an encoder and a stepper driver. Everything in one enclosure. I hope though that there won't be too much heat over here on the stepper driver when the stepper motor is working. We'll see. I'm going to use it with the UC300 ETH, which will be the heart of my CNC life. I'm going to set it up as the B axis and it will be a rotary axis in my CNC machine. Let's do it. In order to use the inputs and outputs of my CNC controller, I will need this breakout board, which is the UCBB, which we were using in my previous videos. If you need more details about this breakout board, feel free to check out my previous videos. I'll post the links in the description. 5V DC power supply for supplying the power to the UC300 ETH controller. 24 volts DC power supply for supplying the power to the breakout board. Now this is a power supply for the stepper motor. This got a 36 volt DC and this one will be used for my CNC project. The stepper driver of this integrated stepper motor can be power supplied with... Can't check out. Wait. I made a quick research. Actually, this stepper motor works uh, within a range from about 20 volts up to about 48 volts. Higher voltage, higher possible speed. Lower voltage, lower maximum speed. If you don't need much speed, you can go with a lower voltage and you'll be fine. <coughs> this is the operator panel which I made recently. It's not quite finished yet, but today it will serve as our PC for simulating the CNC control. We will connect our computer which is inside with the CNC controller and we will test if that motor works. Here is the PC we were using in our previous test. Now it is already mounted into the case, but everything stays the same. It works as it was working before. Now how to connect that thing? We've got the stepper motor with all the connectors and the power line. The DC power supply unit getting connected to the power line and the output of it to the power input of the motor. Now the breakout board with the CNC controller. You can refer to my last videos where I show with more details how to connect everything. The alarm output of the motor can be a little bit tricky, but it worked fine for me when I connected it like you see here. It's worth mentioning that UCBB inputs are 12 to 24 volts, but I discovered this seemed to work with 5 volt signals too. So I connected everything according to what you saw on the wiring diagram.
I set the dip switches to set it at 1600 steps per revolution. Everything is a little bit messy, but trust me, everything is connected according to the wiring diagram. Now on the software side, setting the step and direction pins according to my connections. The limit pin will be the alarm signal out of the motor. Steps per unit, 1600. My axis will be rotary and when it turns over 360 it should get back to the zero angle. I'm setting the max velocity to 2000 rpm and let's say we want it to accelerate to maximum in one second. So in this situation we just divide the maximum speed in rpms per 60 seconds and we get the acceleration value. I'm playing here a bit with the settings and the maximum speeds are crazy for a stepper motor. I have no clue about the torque at such speeds, but that's impressive even without load. Technology is getting really crazy nowadays compared to the open loop stepper motors which aren't even worth buying today for DIY CNC's which will be used to machine material, at least that's my opinion. Now let's test the alarm output. When I apply too much load on the shaft, the servo regulator tries to adjust the position, but after it is not able to do it for a moment, it gives up and sends the signal to the controller that it was not able to do it. The LED lights up on the breakout board. And there we have the input number 12 on the port 1 is activated, which is the alarm signal of the stepper motor and therefore the B-axis limit has been achieved, which means that the CNC control has recognized that there is a problem with the B-axis. So to sum everything up, this type of stepper motor seems to be really cost efficient, it's a 3-in-1 solution. It is an advantage, but it could be also considered as a disadvantage. The driver located at the back of the stepper motor could be also heated by the heat generated by the motor. I'm a bit worried about that, but for my application, it won't be running hot as the duty cycle will be very low. It won't be spinning much, it will be indexing the automatic tool change turret to the right angle once per some time. It is a closed loop motor. The encoder located in the middle between the driver and the motor makes it possible to generate less unnecessary heat, waste less energy and provide more accuracy. I think it is also relatively cheap comparing to a motor and driver kit. It cost me about $40, which is quite nice. I'm going to use it in my machine, so stay tuned to see it moving an ATC in one of my future videos. If you're interested, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and a comment below. Thanks for watching.